Hey guys, welcome to another server miner tutorial and today it's on the SM Picnic control panel. This is the ultimate way of controlling your server. There is so many different features. It is absolutely fantastic. You control anything and everything to do with your server. So once you've got your server, you will appear on the server manager page and there's quite a few things we can do on here. Obviously up at the top, you can start, stop and restart your server. It will tell you how long the server has been online for, how much CPU and RAM usage you have. Obviously, if this gets too high, you may encounter problems with lag. Um, so be aware of that. On the left, we can go to the server address and actually change that to whatever we want. Rather than a numerical um, address, we can have a personalized one, which is fantastic. And then which jar file we are running. Scroll down a bit more and we can mess around with players and look at information to do with them. So what we can do here is check out the total connects, the status, time online, last quit, and if we go to manage there's a few more pieces of information such as the country they're from, the IP address and a few other things. Down at the bottom you can do things like ban, give them op, give them whitelist and do the opposite of those things, which is pretty cool. Down here in the dark grey box you can set stuff like the weather, the time and the difficulty which is very very useful. You can also quickly set a temporary whitelist or disable a temporary whitelist as well. Scroll down even more and we have some pretty nice charts and graphs that we can look at. So the first one, what does it show? Well it shows when players are joining and how many people. So on November the 8th for example we had one player join which was obviously myself. But if we look at Wednesday, we had one new player join who obviously saw the IP address in one of the videos and hopped on for a couple of minutes. Then on Thursday, when I recorded a tutorial, we have myself and my other account on. Then if we go down to player locations, you can see that all three players who have joined the server are from America. But obviously, if you join from another part of the world, it will show up in a color and then you hover over it and see how many people are from that country, which is a really, really cool feature. Scroll down even more and you can see the average times people come online. So we've got um, sort of evening times, we've got 6pm, 10pm, uh, you name it. And it shows how popular they are as well. So these are all updated in real time and then we are going to go over to the left and hop straight into the console. If you've had a server before, obviously you'll know what the console is. You can pop in commands um, such as restarting the server, reloading, saving the game, etc. Then we have the installer and if you've seen the Forge or Curse tutorials we did recently, this allows you to change the jar file so you can do a modded one, you can go back to vanilla Minecraft if you want to, you can change the spigot version to the latest one, uh, which is pretty useful. And obviously there's stuff like Pixelmon, Curse as I've mentioned, Forge and Feed the Beast. So let's go ahead and go back and we're going to jump straight into plugins. Now this is pretty similar, you can filter through all of the different plugins, you can change the Minecraft version, you can change the category, and you can even search for a plugin name up here instead of jumping onto Bucket or Spigot. And all you need to do is find one you like and click the big green install button, and it's as simple as that, just restart your server and you're good to go. Now File Manager is very useful, it allows you to upload your own jar files and folders, configs, whatever, to your server. And as you can see, I've just got a ton of files in here. And a useful tool is using FTP. So you can use this FTP information to use a program like FileZilla to easily upload um, various files and worlds, etc. It makes it a lot quicker. So bear that in mind if you want to do that. So next we're going to jump into backups and this is a really useful tool as it allows you to bring back your worlds and files from up to seven days ago. So if someone came on, you had a griefer, an admin who was doing something he shouldn't, you can jump in here and go to the timestamp of the backup and recover all of the things you might have lost. So you would just go over to recover and then all of your current files will be deleted. So make sure you um, are aware of that but that is an absolutely fantastic tool that you get. Let's jump into settings next, and this is pretty straightforward. It allows you to really easily config the server.properties. So there's a lot of things in here, whether it's game mode, level, uh, ability, NPCs, all of that good stuff. Uh, you can change literally anything, and it's just one click to change and another click to go back. Next, we're going to go onto database, and this is really awesome. It allows you to create a free MySQL database uh, rather than go onto an external website and it's very simple you just click create and then you can go away and do it then if we go on to scheduled tasks 
This is another fantastic feature and what this can do is every X amount of minutes or hours or days it will provide a task to be run on your server such as saving, restarting, changing the time, whether you name it you can do it and um, rather than using a plugin to do it really. So that's very very cool that they have that. Next we're going to go on to sub users. Now what you can do here is add multiple users, maybe your admins or friends can jump onto server miner and help configure things and change things, whatever. And what you can do is click add sub user, type in their email and they will be able to log in and change a few things. Then if we go down to open ports, this is very, very cool. You can use any of these ports for whatever plugins. So when you download some plugins, whatever it may be, you might need to use a separate port for it. So I think uh, some voting plugins might require this or some plugins with databases might require this as well. So this is a list of ports which you can use for that, which is fantastic. Um, some other server companies may charge for that. Then at the bottom we have Minecraft Worlds. So this is a list of all the worlds that I have on my server. It gives you a list of all of the sizes. You can delete, rename and load each world depending on whether you want to use it. So that is the general overview of the SM Picnic control panel. As you can see, it has a ton of features that are very useful when hosting your own server. If you want to grab your own server, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. If you want to check out more tutorials, there will be a link in the description too. And that will be it. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.